Welcome to Techie Tuesday. I am your host, Tara, <laughs> and happy to be here tonight with you all. Um, so just a quick, quick, um, a quick comment. Yes, it's 7 p.m. and here we are. And that is because um, so many of you have said that seven is really better. And it's really just the third um, Tuesday of the month that I have a consistent conflict. And when I looked at our calendar, we didn't, I didn't have that conflict tonight. So I just decided to go ahead and, um, and jump on at seven, particularly for you digital divas out there. Um, I feel like seven, um, seven just works better for you. So, and I do try to keep my things, you know, to an hour or less. And I know that some of you have things at eight <laughs> that you're jumping, you got to bounce at eight so that you can, um, get on to your next thing. So, so tonight we're going to be talking about, um, how to organize your digital content in, um, Artisan 6. And before we jump into that, um, I want to just go through a couple quick announcements and, oh, yay, Casey, <laughs> glad you fixed your volume. Yes, hopefully everyone can hear me. Um, to get entered for my fun Friday giveaway this Friday, you'll want to like this video or love it. You'll want to share this video and make sure that you tap the three little buttons. You can go back after the broadcast and turn the um, and turn it to public. Um, what's the, the privacy option? You're going to switch the privacy option. That way I get a notification from Facebook that you have shared the video. And then of course you can tag a friend and I see that Deb already has and um, you'll get an entry for that. And then of course, if you place an order, so that's digital orders and or orders placed through my Creative Memories website, my Forever website or my Heritage Makers website. So any of those, um, or I also, and I also get tickets for those of you that are on subscription, whatever week your card kit subscription runs through my website, I also um, give you an entry for that. So lots of different ways for you to get entered for the Fun Friday giveaway. Last week I gave away three $10 um, Creative Memories um, credits, CM credits. And um, so they were, they were, were already put to good use. Um, Black Friday promo. So I'm just going to jump out um, to um, where am I jumping out to? I'm jumping out to creativememories.com real quick just to explain better the um, Black Friday promo that's going on right now. So as you can read up here, if you spend $160 um, on the Creative Memories website, you can um, pick any exclusive bundle. And um, there are five bundles to choose from. So in fact, there's a, a lower threshold than 160 so you can actually, this is one of the bundles you can earn if you spend 160 and it's completely free. You just have to pick it. And there's the videos on here. If you go to the website, um, this is the second one. This is my most favorite. I would say this is the most popular. It comes with 19 sheets of cardstock, really cool um, stickers, border maker cartridge, and some laser borders. But then my second favorite these three bundles you can pick if you spend a hundred dollars so just a hundred dollars and if you missed on this last year the um twinkle lights border punch um now's your chance to get it you had to spend 160 last year this year you just have to spend 100 to get it and you get embellishments paper and a border maker cartridge so i would say those two are definitely the best bang for your buck the candy canes have been sold out for several months. In fact, I had to buy one um, on 
I had to buy one on eBay for someone because I just, you know, even if I have to pay a little more, like if it's an $80 cartridge, I'm just, I'm not going to do that for you. But for, for, for those of you, if I can get it and it's the pretty close to the same price um, as the 1950 and then I can just kind of save you the trouble, then I'll go ahead and do it. So I did have to procure one. Um, so now we're able to get them back in stock. And as you can see from these pictures, they are super duper. Oh, and you're not seeing it. Right. I'm just talking about, um, I'm just talking about all this. <laughs> And you're not seeing it. Okay, so back up here really quick. This is one of the ones that you can um, you can get if you spend 160 cardinal themes, little pouchier pens, two pens, red and green. Um, this was the fun rainbow edge that I was talking about. Um, and then here's the candy cane lane. So all of this, if you just click on the top of the Creative Memories website, you will see. And then there's contents from the secret box the, uh, two times ago, the September one and the June one that you can, um, obviously they had leftovers. Now you can get them uh, for free if you spend a hundred dollars. Now you could you could have bought them for less than a hundred when they were available. Um, but now you can get them as a bonus. Um, let's see. Oh, I did also want to share with you that there is also a digital bundle going on right now. And I don't, and maybe it's down at the bottom. Oh, here it is. So since you guys are here for Techie Tuesday, this might be more interest uh, to some of you. Although I know many of you watching tonight are by Scrap Shul, or you're just paper, but you're here to see what all the hullabaloo about the digital is. So with the digital Black Friday kit, um, you can spend $30 in digital artwork or custom products, and then you get um, basically all of the digital content of what was in the paper. Uh, not the secret boxes, but the, the Candy Cane Lane, and the cardinal right on, and then the fun um, uh, the rainbow one, whatever that one was, because you can buy the secret box ones just by themselves in the as digital content. So it's it says right here what the digital kit includes: twelve digital papers, forty nine digital mats, and all that good stuff. So you just get that for free if you spend $30 in digital. And question, oh, are you kidding? StreamYard, once again, you're not seeing what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is just one of those nights. I really thought I had myself together here. Um, so here it is. This is what, this is what you get. <laughs> when you spend $30. Now, what I wanted to say was it can be a mixture. You can actually layer these two promos for my ladies that are um, by Scrapsual, meaning you do digital and you do paper. As long as you have $30 in digital, if you have $70 in paper, it has to be something that they have to ship to you because the free packs, the, the promos are shippable. Um, so you have to have something, you have to pay that shipping, um, because digital content, you don't pay shipping on. So you can do $30 in digital or 50 or whatever you could do 91.15 is, or I have no idea why I just picked that. You could do 90 and then just do a $10 paper pack. And then they're going to charge you the eight ninety five but you still get to pick one of the promos. So you can mix and match digital and paper, just as long as you pay shipping and you reach a hundred, you will um, earn the digital kit, the digital Black Friday, <laughs> and also the paper one. Oh my goodness, that was really, really hard. Um, all right, back to, back to the program here. There's also Black Friday um, 
stuff going on already at forever.com. And let's see if I can do better. They're like, no, don't, don't share your screen again. It's not going to go well. I promise we're going to do better. So if you go to forever.com, then go to deals then you'll see this whole page of deals. And um, so like right now through the end of the month is 50% off printed pro um, printed products, um, including photo prints, um, cloud storage, conversion boxes. Uh, there's 30% off on digital art. There's a special one free with purchase. Um, that one is is also through the end of november so just check the code some of them have different codes here's black friday bonanza get a year's worth of collector edition bundles in all three sizes um, so there's lots of digital artwork and digital content and digital fun on sale now what they also have is this bonus coupon and if you click on learn more and okay it is coming with me so you should be able to see this um, hooray. Um, if you purchase a hundred or two hundred dollar gift certificate to forever, you get these Black Friday bonuses that you just saw on the other page. Um, I think all of them were there, but you get to use this coupon up until December 31st, 2023. So, like 50% off your printed products are really good right now, but maybe you don't have something that you're printing by the end of the month. So you can buy a hundred dollar gift certificate and then you kind of capture that deal that you can use anytime the rest of the year. Not that they won't offer that at other times through the year, but then you're guaranteed to have that when you need it. Um, and you just can't combine it um, with other coupons. Um, back to this deal page, because I mentioned... Um, Many of you watching this, since you already own Artisan, you already have, um, you already have an account. But those of you who are maybe tuning in and you don't have a Forever account, you can open a Forever a Forever account and you'll get twenty dollars off coupon, and you can use that in conjunction with these other um, discounts. So forty percent off Historian, forty percent off Artisan. Um, and then you can take an additional 20. Now those Black Friday coupons, you can't stack with that because they're um, like, you don't have to wait for them to happen. You get to use it whenever you want. I guess that's their thought process there. Um, so now that I've... <laughs> yes, well, I know, right? This is a, this topic is just in time, Casey. And um, I love, I love historians so much. Um, ever, I, I probably need to do a Techie Tuesday in the new year about that, just organizing your photos and historian, which I'll do that. All right, on to the rest so we can get on with organization. So next Tuesday, we have a special Let's Taco about it. Um, I will have to invite four guests for next year. Uh, I'm going to continue the series on months where there's five Tuesdays. So this month we have Stacy, who's in the chat. She and her best friend and sister, Stacy, own Masterpiece Jewelers, and they're huge supporters of our scrappy community and our just our community in general. So we're going to talk to Stacy about her um, scrappy, her scrappy life. All right, open house. <clears throat> I know many of you on this chat have already signed up. In fact, I don't see anyone who's commented but isn't hasn't already RCP'd. I am offering um, virtual and in-person open house this year, as I did last year and the year before. So you can come in person to the dates above where it says 2022 open house, the December 4th from 2 to 8. That's Sunday, 2 to 8, Monday, 12 to 8, Tuesday, 12 to 8. And I will do the drawings live at Tuesday at 8. So instead of doing my regular Tuesday live, I will do um, the drawings from the open house. And if you didn't see 
my um, email. If you didn't get it in your inbox, then go to my Facebook page and just look for the little Bitmoji of me jumping out at an envelope and um, click that link and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will see um, all the information about the open house. And then I virtual times 10 a.m. to 12 on Monday and 8 to 9 on Monday. But I will work with you. So if those times do not work for you, then just let me know and we can set something else up. I want to make sure that everybody that wants to participate can participate. All right. So this is new for Simon's Angels. Those of you that have been around a long time, if you brought a $10 gift card, you got, well, back in the day, you got a free day crop at my house, which is a $10 value. Um, so you, if you brought a $10 gift card, you get a 10 crop. Then, um, I don't know, then it turned into gift certificates were just really hard for me to keep track of, for you to keep track of when you, when you did it. So this year I've got this little grid. Um, so five, five donors at 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all of those boxes equal $500. You can either bring a gift card in one of those values or you can let me know, or you can Venmo me like starting now. And what I'll do is every day that I get someone to cover a box, I'll post a, an updated version of this. So we know how many um, are left. And like, if you donate a $30 gift card, you get four tickets. If you toward a $100 gift certificate. So if you do a 50, then that's 30. So you get four tickets plus two tickets. So six tickets. Um, if you donate $50. So like that, you can definitely take more than one box. Um, but that way, I think it'll be a little easier. We'll see. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Yes, Stacy, work on your work on your your scrappy life story. All right, jumpstart January. Don't forget to register for jumpstart January. That is January 20th and the 21st. The 20th is a preview day. The 21st is all day. Tons of prizes, lots of fun, and we're raising money for our local veterans um, through the Port Orange VFW. And then St. Simon's, I've been saying it now for months. It's going to be a wild and groovy time. It's my 60th retreat, and it's going to be awesome. We're going to have so much fun. For more information about that, you can go to memorymaniacs.com um, or DaytonaAreaScrapbooking.com. And then just go to my retreat page and that will give you all of the details. All right, this is past, but I just wanted to note because you ladies on here, um, in theory, do digital, are interested in digital. So once again, I did make the sketches digitally for the November 11th and 12th crop. Now they, um, even though it's passed and you can't win anymore, there's still awesome sketches, design maps that you can, or click and fills, templates. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out a YouTube on how to use those on my YouTube channel under Techie Tuesdays, because it'd be too hard to find it on Facebook, honestly. It's really hard to, they, you know, there's no real way to organize videos. Um, but you can go to my YouTube page, Daytona Area Scrapbooking, and you can find them that way. In fact, there's a Tacky Tuesday playlist, and you can just enjoy all of those at your leisure. So this was just a reminder for me to tell you that. And finally, a reminder, if you haven't already, you can just like this video, share this video, tag a, dig a digital friend or a paper friend, um, in the chat, you'll still get entered, even if they're like, why are you tagging me in this Techie Tuesday? I don't do digital. And then if you place an order, whether, and it could be digital stuff tonight, tomorrow, whatever, then you'll be entered to win. All right, on with the show. Here I go big, and I'm going to get small again. And I really wish I could just... They fixed it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. All right, well, I have to share entire screen, but they finally fixed it where I can just share a window. So I could just share or, uh, Artisan 6, but I need to show you some other stuff in files. So we're gonna have to go entire screen. 
Um, so it's going to get wild here for a second. All right. So this is Artisan 6. <laughs> Hopefully you're familiar with this. If not, and you're just interested, then just, just buckle up. All right. In the top left. Oh, I'm blocking it. Hold on. I need to resize my screen. But I can't see what my screen is because I'm on my screen. Hold, please. Where are you? All right, so I am blocking myself. Not too bad, but let's bring this down a little bit here. All right, so I am blocking. Oh boy, now you, I'm talking. Okay, we're gonna get it together, I promise. And by we're, I mean me. All right, this should be good. I want to make sure all my little thingies aren't covering important parts of the screen here. All right, so, oh, yay, Casey. All right, so here we are in Artisan 6. When we click on Manage Content, this is where you're going to see all of your content displayed. Now, I was poking around in tags, so... I have 694 kits, as you can see here on this uh, view in front of you. And if you look to this left side, um, I'm over here on the left side, right to the right of my little face, um, you see the word library. And then you see four things with yellow, well, with folders. You've got built-in kits, you've got creative memories art kits, font kits, and personal art kits. Now... Yours might say something different. The important thing with Artisan is to know where your stuff is stored. That's the key. Actually, I've been helping you all for a long time. And knowing where your stuff is is, is, is key. What's beautiful is when you click on this folder, right, go, move over an inch to the right, and it displays the folder name, Creative Memories Art Kits. And underneath that, you see a path. Now, all of my art kits, because in this one folder, as you can see, I have 694 kits. And that's not even what's including in what's in the personal art kits, which is 61. Because I started combining them. And that's one of the things I want to show you tonight. So, um, you can see the path. Terra, external four terabyte Terra art kits, creative memories art kits. Okay, so that's my path. If you have to take a picture with your phone, if you have to write it down, you should know where your things are stored. Now, like I said, I have so many of them. I meant to actually write down the amount of space that those kits take up. It's, it's a lot. I have near over 700 kits between those two folders. And so mine are on an external. Now you don't, the, the, the kits that, or not the kits, the projects that you've published, they can live on an external. But I suggest any projects that you're currently working on, be on your local drive. It's just much more stable. And um, so when you're talking saving pages, moving page to page, I've tried it both ways. It's definitely better if your project is on the local C drive or um, that that's that and that's where your program lives it does best that way now your content can be on an external and as you can see from my path I have a four terabyte external so mine live on the external you just have to remember your external has to be connected now I have a little sticky pouch that I got from Amazon that is stuck to the back of my computer so my external is my my little laptop is like Quasimodo. It has this little lump on the back and my external just lives with it. So um, they're just never separated. I mean, I unplug it when I'm packing it up to put it in a backpack and take with me. But um, 
but it, it for the most part. Yes, all of my digital kits, Casey, are on my external drive. And so here I'll go to my personal art kits and it's the same path, Terra external four terabyte, Terra art kits, personal art kits. So this is on, both of them are on the E drive. Now, why do I have two? Well, I have been at this digital game since Creative Memories first launched Storybook Creator. Of course, now just to confuse you all, if you haven't been around that long, you buy Artisan from forever. Well, that's because Creative Memories no longer sells it, but it's literally the same program. So all the years through all the versions, it was Storybook Creator, Storybook Creator 2, Storybook Creator 3, Storybook Creator 4. Then now it's Artisan. Okay. So they use, so all the digital content was from Creative Memories. That's why it says Creative Memories Art Kits. So yours might say commercial art kits. Okay. So they're the art kits that you need a code for. You need an activation code for those. So when you purchase a digital kit from Creative Memories, this is a whole separate Techie Tuesday topic on how to import those into your um, into Artisan. So I won't go into that today. But when you purchase digital art from Creative Memories or when you purchase digital art from Etsy, um, if you purchase digital art other places, um, back in the day, we used to put that, not the Creative Memories, now the creative memories would go in the personal art kits if we were keeping the same format and the commercial art kits that needed to be unlocked were always in my folder called creative memories art kits well i've decided to combine them there's actually no reason for them to be in two separate places except for maybe you to know there are some that i can visualize that I know, oh, this is a CM one. So I would go to Creative Memories Art Kits. But now that the Creative Memories Art Kits don't have activation codes and the Forever ones do have the activation codes, it's just all, there's just no need for it. For me, when I'm in a project to be switching back and forth between these two folders. So I didn't move them all because I wanted you to see how easy it is to move them. Now you can't move it from this side. You can't move it from the program. You have to do it from the files. And so this is where people get scared. And this is where people say, Tara, you have to come to my house and do it because I'm scared. It's not hard, I promise. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and move. I moved all the way up to M. Now, I was going to just do all the rest of them while I'm on here with you tonight. But it does take a hot minute for them to you know, re-index them into the program the first time you open it. So I'm not going to put you through that, but I am going to move that magic hour. Um, well, like Mary Blooms, so that's a Creative Memories one from a couple years ago, but it's in my personal art kits because it didn't need an activation code. Now I'm just moving it all in. And by the way, you can rename that. So I also... Um, went out on the back side. I renamed this file and well, I might just do that again, just to show you what happens. Okay. So I'm going to move, I'll move the three M's over. Now I'm going to shut this program to do that. And now I'm going to open up and I'm going to my external art kits. Okay, so here's my personal art kits. And I'll just open up just for ease of view. I'm going to open up a second file explorer so that you can see me move them from place to place. All right, so I've got personal art kits over here. I've got my uh, Creative Memories Art Kits over here, and now I'm going to take these M's, whoops, let's do it like this. I'm going to take the three M's, and then I'm going to, I'm not going to drag them into here because there's a possibility that they could get dropped into one of these folders, and that will wreak havoc. 
So I'm just going to drop them into the Creative Memories Art Kits. And before you let go, you just want to make sure that it's highlighted, that it's reading what you wanted to do. Move to Creative Memories Art Kits. Yes, drop it. Now, what happens if I make a mistake? Well, I just control Z it. You hit control and Z on your keyboard. They, and just so that you know I'm not lying, I'm going to do control Z and they're going to go back to where they were. They're down at the bottom now. But do you see them down here? The three M's. Okay, so if you feel like you made a mistake, you can always hit the control and the Z button and that is undo and you're, you're, you're good to go. So I just moved over the three M's. Now I'm gonna close this again and we're gonna come, we're gonna open Artisan back up. And if any, if you have any questions as we go along, feel free to add them in the chat um, while we wait, especially while we wait for Artisan to come back up. Once I show you, I wanted to show you where they live. It's really, I find it's, I feel it's very important for you to understand where these things are. So many people say, like they use words like, oh, in the program. Well, nothing actually lives in the program. The program knows where to look for the things. And so, the you know, when I can help you have a better understanding of that, you'll understand the way these things, um, I feel like you'll it'll help you understand them better. So that's why I wanted to go through um, this little pot process. So you see that it's in indexing. So now it's indexing mason jars. So it's literally indexing every single little thing when I moved it, when I moved it over. So that's why I didn't want to do M through Z all right now. Okay. So now I'm going back to manage content over here. And now the M's are gone from the personal art kits on the left. And if I click on Creative Memories Art Kits and scroll to the M's, they're, they're right there uh, with other M's. Okay, so in theory, all of my things are in one place. Now, you cannot change the, the name of this folder um, from this view. Now, I can change it on the back side. Then that means I have to... Um, remove the folder and add the folder back in. And I tested that recently where I said, oh, I'm not going to call it Creative Memories Art Kits because some of them are forever. I'm just going to call them digital art kits, all of them, digital artwork, whatever. Um, the problem is when I came back in, all these were grayed out. Now, somebody might panic when they see that. Oh my goodness, what happened to all my stuff? And all you would have to do is change the folder location and you would just repick the new name. Basically, the folder hasn't changed, but um, and the location hasn't changed, but the name has changed. So the, the remember the program is looking for a specific folder. Now you change its name, it's like, ah, what happened? Where is that folder? So um, so I'm not gonna do that now because I want you you want to see um how to organize these babies. All right. So, oh, I don't know that I've mentioned this before, but see this little blue magic button right here? That little button is for anything you purchase from forever. You know how we used to have to download it and import it? You can still do it that way, but you just press that little blue button there that's right here at the end of these white, like directly over here. You just press that. And if I, you click on it, I'm going to have it. It's saying there's no new um, purchases available. So anything you purchase on forever will automatically come in. Now it'll be locked. So you still have to go to forever and copy and paste your activation codes in to the program. And every time you do that, make a backup list of your activation codes, but it's a huge time saver. You don't have to download them and then unlock them. You just, and you can paste all of the activation codes at one time. So anyway, it's great. All right. So here's all, here's all the content. 
So I'm going to close this little arrow over here by my face. Boop. Bye. And now you see these two things. These are your organizational friends. You've got my categories and you've got tags. So if you click on my categories, they are my categories. Yours, I don't even know. How many do you have in yours? I, I don't even know point what they started with. But because I have a lot of old CM content, I did power palettes. I did names of all the power palettes that I had. Um, I have old Disney ones. I made a category for that. Um, you can make a category for any pro oh, pre-designed pages. So that's something that people, you know, trip on like, like these. Um, you just, you don't like when you're looking through your content, you can't, they're not, it's not content. It's, it's pre-designed pages. Um, okay. Well, that's okay. <laughs> well, Katie, Stacy, you guys are in good. Look at how, look at what a mess I have. 697 kits. And I will say, if you want to combine, if you have the two folder thing going on, like I just said, and you haven't put them in categories, and you want to combine them like I just did, do that before you categorize them because when you change the folder, remember you're telling the program, hey, that digital content that lives right here in this folder, I want you to show it to me when I click this category. Well, when you change the folder it lives in, then you lose that. So I had all of my stuff categorized and now that I've decided to merge them into the one folder, I've lost that categorization, but it's okay because to me, like I said, I'm, I'm jumping back and forth between, well, is it in the personal art kits? Is it in creative memories art kits? And then I changed my mind. Well, it's not a commercial art kit because creative memories doesn't need activation codes, but it is a creative memories kit. You know, you're trying to like guess how your future self is going to, you know, um, Okay, well, that's good, Casey, because you can start in scratch. So here's the, all of these I created. All right. So when I'm organizing, you're going to come up here. Kits not in any category. You're going to click that. So you saw that a bunch of them just went away. So I have 248 kits that need to be categorized. Now, I suggest that you start with the first one. And if the first one seems really hard, and it does with for me, it says African Violet Freebie. I mean, what does that even look like? I don't even know. If I click on it, um, it says right here, it's it's forever digital art. I, I, I forget. It gives you a little preview, but this isn't where you can view them. Um, so do I have like a floral... I might have decided to put it in fun. See, now these are the ones that were my personal art. Okay, here's, these ones are easy. Autumn artistry. So I've got a Halloween fall. So what I'm going to do is just drag it over to here to Halloween fall. And then what if I want it to be somewhere else? I can drag it there. Now, if you don't want to drag it all the way over here, because in this program, as you recall, and as I've taught you in the past, there's at least two two different ways to do the same thing. Oh, well, if you're mode if you're like right um, <coughs> oriented. <laughs> what if instead of dragging and dropping, you just want to click? You see how this Halloween on the right hand side, Halloween fall is clicked. That happened automatically when I dragged it into the folder. So you can either drag it to the left or click it to the right. So if you click on Awesome Autumn, I can just click the Halloween Fall. Here's Back to School. I can scroll down here. I am for sure have a school one. Yep, here's School. Um, here's another Back to School. Oh, this one's on the left side of the page. Let me just <laughs> go this way. Here's Baseball Grand Slam. I'm going to slide that one into Sports. Oh, here's a beach. I'm going to come back this way and click on beach and summer. Here's beach inspiration. Click that one on beach and summer. So in order to get rid of them, the ones that you've placed into the kits, you're just going to click out to my categories. 
and then click back to kits not in any category. And now all those ones went away. So black and white digital power palette. I guess I don't have a power palette that's named black and white. So we'll create one. So I'm going to come up to my categories on the top left there next to my, my little face here. And I'm going to right click on my categories and I'm going to get add a category. And that's how you add a category. So I'm going to keep the, this, the same. So power palette, black and white. I'm going to say OK, and now it's there. So now I can click click that one over. Beer. Do I have a food one? I'm going to make a food one. Food and drink. So I'm going to do category, add a category, food and drink. And... Since this one, I'm going to put in a couple things. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to click food and drink. Um, and I, you can drag it to multiple places. But um, then I can click on travel. And where else might this go? Family. All right. And then did I do? Yeah, I did that one. So the, again, you can toggle back and forth. Blush blooms. I feel like I need a floral one. Um, here's book bag days. That's going in school. Book bag days alpha. So it's just an alpha. So I'm going to put it in alpha sets. Um, so that when I click on school, I don't, I don't see it. Um, here, oh, brewery bound. That was from the thing this uh, summer. So I'm going to put that in travel. And I'm going to put that in food and drink. You have one called sparkle. What you have a category. Oh, my overlay is, is overlapping on the right. Sorry. Thank you. So you can't see when I'm at the bottom of that. So we'll stay over here to the left. <laughs> So it's exactly the same thing on the left and the right, and you can drag them into multiple places. So we already did that one. Here's Bridal Creek. That one sounds like animals. Um, butterfly Kisses. Oh, Candy Shop. Candy. I thought I had a power. I guess I didn't. All right. So I need the power palette, candy shop power palette. So let's go ahead and make that and then I'll move off categories because I think you get the gist. Power palette. Now, I might not have originally done that because there wasn't a bunch of candy shop ones. It's just that one. Oh, here's Cardinals. So that will go in Animals. And here's another Beach. Beach Summer. Cheers. So I'll put that in New Year. Um, you could also have a broader category like Holidays. Okay, well, maybe... I don't know, Katie. I'm going to put this one in summer and food, I think. I should make a retreat category because it's Citrus Digital. Um, beach, summer, and food. Okay. All right. So I have, a, I have my work cut out for me. So if you only have 16 kits, feel good because I still have 241 plus the other 60 I need to move over. So I have about 300 to do, but I'm before I leave you tonight, I'm going to go into a project so you can see um, how awesome it is. All right, so now we're going to close up my categories, and underneath that is tags. Well, what the heck, Tara? What are tags? If you click on that, 
it will um, show you everything that is tagged. Now, the companies, i.e. Creative Memories and Forever, may have already tagged things. And old CM stuff is most definitely tagged with some things. So you may decide, like, I have them in broader categories because I want to see complete kits and the things that match them. The tags, you can tag specific elements within the kits um, so that all of your animals are in one place. Um, so here's arrow. So I was thinking, Katie, that you had like a sparkle down here. No, I don't see any sparkles. But again, you can make like there's a star. Here's spring. Here's these were all power palettes. Here's reflections. Here's purple. So you can just literally tag anything that's purple, purple. So it's while you have a small amount of kits, it's a perfect time to do all of this if you really want to micromanage. Now, I will have to tell you that I do not spend any amount of time in the tags. Um, but I do find the categories very helpful. Um, but tags are basically the same thing, um, except that you can get really, like, you could put all the clips or brads or brackets or hardware. Um, <laughs> yes, I have tons of digital, Deb. Oh, okay. So then you can put all the digitally sparkly ones, Katie. Um in that category. But I suggest if you're going to go the category route, like force yourself like I didn't do here on, oh, here's beach monograms. So I'm going to put that into alpha sets. Um, here's alpha set. Force yourself to kind of make a category. Um, so, um, and then you can kind of go in in order. Here's Croptoberfest. So that will go in Halloween, fall, Croptoberfest, Halloween, fall, Croptoberfest, Halloween, fall. You can select multiples at a time. So I just clicked all the, the, deck, the click and fill pages and I can drag them to pre-design pages. So if there's like, I could have, done all those crop topper fests. Here's cruising along. Let's put that in travel. So you can see how this, you know, if while you're watching a movie or whatever, you can just go along and make your, make your, make your categories. Does anyone have any questions? I want to show you what this looks like in a kit, in a project now. And this is the bit, the best way I have found. And like I said, I'm dealing with 700 kits here. I mean, that's a ridiculous amount of kits. And yet, and yet, just like border maker cartridges, when they come out from CM, I feel like I have to have them. But that is also why they live on my external drive. All right. Let's go into... Um, where's my, oh, here it is, my O'Gorman family album. Okay, so... These print guides, I always just kind of get rid of them. All right, so now over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to click on content, and if I, it's going to, it's starting with the very top one here, 12 by 12 blueprint borders here. Um, I'm going to close this, okay, and I'm going to work in my categories. So here are my categories 
And now I'm going to say, oh, uh, here's all my beach in summer. Now, what's cool about the categories is if you're looking for a specific kit, say vitamin C, one of my favorites, vitamin C digital kit from CM. Here's all my papers on the right hand side. I click the little square with the butterfly on it. Here's my embellishments. I'll scroll all the way through so you can see all the pretty gems and whatnot. Um, what if you don't know that you want the vitamin C? What if you just, because you have them in categories, what if you want to see everything that you've put in the beach and summer category? Well, you just click on the broad category. Now it's going to show you every single thing from every single kit that you have put in that category. So our friend Stacy, if she has a jewels, gems, whatever sparkliness um, category, then all of her jewel things are going to come up. She's not going to have to think about, oh, I need the primary color gemstone kit. And then the, I, I don't know, I'm making it up, but you don't have to toggle back and forth. Um, I'm literally scrolling through every single thing that is in the beach category and I'm not even a quarter of the way through here so again that can be overwhelming but if you know it's a beachy thing and you know it's in there somewhere then you've got all your beach stuff beach and summer at your fingertips and then you can click on the paper and the same thing they are alphabetized so like this is cm does CM, light green, diamond, vitamin C. So that's the way that's. And here's starburst light. But they're organized by alphabetically by the kit name, not the piece of paper, if that makes sense. So that's why this one is in. It, it'll show you. On the bottom of this little square that pops up, hopefully my little Facebook and YouTube aren't blocking it, it'll say adjust your sales kit. So this is from the adjust your sales. And then if I scroll down to say this one, this is by the C page pack with alpha. Okay. So does that make sense to everyone? Okay. Oh, good, Katie. So you, you've, you've started or you can start. So um, that's what you want to do. Kind of go through. Everyone's brain works different. I tend to do better with like broader categories than like um, putting everything in like Brad or Matt or whatever. I'm, I can't with 700 kits. I'm not, I'm not doing that, but it's very easy to drag your Halloween kits and that kind of stuff over. You can also take the, um, the approach to not doing categories for every single kit, but just the ones that you tend to need a category for, if that makes any sense. Like, oh, I'm doing a birthday one. Where's all my birthday stuff? I don't know what, I, you know, like you, you don't, you want to see all your birthday stuff together or you want to see. I, the patriotic one, this is a category I use a lot because I was working on pages of Gettysburg and working on pages of um, Arlington Cemetery. And so it was so nice to have everything patriotic all in one place to, to do those. Um, and I have no idea why this bald eagle is in with the paper. He should be in with the embellishments. But... Um, so anyway, I hopefully um, that helps you gain a little bit of understanding on organizing your digital content. And 
you can also toggle out of a project by clicking on the welcome tab and coming over to your um, your content. And this is where you can see the content. If you click on the name of it on the left hand side, not while you're in the categories, but if you click on it on the left hand side, it'll display um, everything that's in the kit. And you might freak out like I was like, well, where's all the other stuff? Because alpha sets is highlighted. If I click on embellishments, here's all the embellishments in that kit. And here are, there's a page and here are the papers. All right. So if you're like, I don't even know what's in that kit when you're down here in the categor categorization, then you can go back up and see, like I can add this Aussie adventure to travel, but also to animals. Well, you can switch that, Katie. So when you go to your, if I'm in a content preview, let's go to that one. In fact, why don't I just show you on one of the ones where it happened? That was the, oh, what the heck is it called? It was a Creative Memories. Ugh. Hold on. Now I need to look at my categories, see what the name of that kit is. This is the problem when you have so many. Oh, United We Stand. It was him. Okay. So it's under him. Yeah, here he is. Okay, so United We Stand, I'm going to come back up here and go to United We Stand. So that if, that, if you find that annoying, Katie, this is how you fix it. And if anyone else, oh, it's in the other one. Even though it's a CM kit, it's in the personal art kits. Here it is. All right, so if I click on papers and you find something that doesn't belong in papers, you just right click on it and well, you should be able to move it to, um, oh, edit art kit. Oops, paper, then right click on it and say move to embellishment. And now it's gonna move it to embellishment. <clears throat> And then we can just X out of there and we're back to our content. And now it looks like I have two of them so I could get rid of one, <laughs> but at least he's not in the papers. So he's all good. He's all good now. Alrighty. Does it, if anyone doesn't, if you don't have any questions, Then I will come back to you here and say that if you do have any questions or if you're watching the replay of this or if you're watching it on YouTube, you can go ahead and leave a comment and I will certainly get back to you and answer any questions that you may have. Don't forget about the Black Friday promos going on at forever.com and creativememories.com. And if you need help importing, content forever super easy you just press that button and copy and paste the activation code um if you need help making a personal art kit for the stuff from cm then just let me know and i can certainly help you with that um but if no one has any questions for me then i think that's all we have for tonight so I appreciate you all being on here for Techie Tuesday. I'm glad the 7 p.m. time worked out for you. Don't forget to join me um, next Tuesday night for Let's Talk About It with Stacy. And hey, Carol, I'm so glad you made it on here. And that is all. Until I see you again, you all know what to do. Stay scrappy, my friends. Bye-bye.